Hello, hello, lights and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Genshin Impact. Uh, let's talk to you. How many secrets does Lee truly hold? Secrets? Do you mean buried treasures? Uh, I'm gonna ask you what you mean by secrets. Oh, Traveler, it's you. The secrets I'm referring to are a set of inscriptions. This place we are in is called the Gilly Embassy, according to Liu folklore. It was once inhabited by people. In fact, it was rather prosperous. But for various reasons, the whole place was wiped out. All that remains now is the countless ruins scattered across the landscape. Some stories put it down to the conflict between the gods. Other people say it was a war between humans. And some sorcerers talk of a sudden catastrophic na natural disaster. Whatever the reason was, ruins are all that remains here now. The only ones who come here are the Hillicrolls. The treasure hoarders. And the mascotids schoolers like me who in spite of all the risk just can't resist the idea of how much research value these ruins has to offer. In practice though, schoolers like me aren't actually cut out for this kind of field work. I've hardly co covered any ground yet, and I already need a rest. The actual ruin exploring seems more your area of expertise. What do you say? Fancy helping me out? Uh, sure. Great! Hmm. But I should give you an idea of what to look for. Yes. Keep your eyes peeled for stone pillars and stone tables. Given how ancient these ruins are, any texts we can hope to find will be written in stone, not paper. After all, stone is the oldest and most durable medium for, ri for written communication. All right. Could it be true?
I uh, can't really see I see anything in particular. Investigate. Okay, I guess it's stuff like that I need to look out for, and it doesn't seem to show up. Uh oh. I did not mean to do that. Okay, come on. This should take you down. Back at ya. Wind blade. your fate. Retribution. Okay, come on. Okay, come on, I got you. Not really what I had in mind to do. Seems like I got a lot of stuff out of it there. Okay, looks like there's another one of these stones over here. Ah, there is actually one over there. Let me weave you a verse. No, my sword. Back off, Ron. Oh yeah, got them all. Uh, 
There's another one. And I also got this chest. Might as well pick up all the stuff. Ooh, there are some explosions down there. There is another one. Okay. Should just be one more. Got him. Ah, you survived, eh? Rain outlines your fate. Back at you to ashes. All right, got him. There we go. Got them all. Well, this should probably level me up, though. In adventure rank. Huh. Alright, let's chat. Find anything in the ruins? I found five stone tablets. Great! Let's see, um, these are all over the place. Let me see if I can work out the right order. Hmm. There's a lot of missing text here, so it's quite disjointed. Also, I'm still not sure on the order. But anyway... This is my best guess. If I line up like this, it reads as follows. In the beginning, when the people assembled to farm the land, a god named Gunsung descended, whose domain dominion was over dusk, and whose reach shrouded the skies for thousands of miles around. The god laid down for commandments for the people. The other god descended whose domain was over Geo and who brought the people of Liu to this place. Jointly they shepherd the people for they protect for their protection. And the assembly was named Gilly Gwil Gilly after the name of two gods. It seems to be about a history of Gilly assembly and of a god with power over dust who watches over this place. 
but it also mentions another god who came here at the same point and even brought some of their people with them. Also, it seems to be saying that name Gilly, as in Gilly Assembly, came about by talking one symbol each of the name of these two gods. How fascinating. In all the documents I ever read, I never come across any mention of two gods who coexisted peacefully, let alone who actively worked together. It seems they were more than just two allied gods. They were best friends. But what happened to them? They can't just have disappeared. And who was the... And how was the Gilly Assembly laid to waste so completely? With two gods watching over it, none, no disaster should have been quite so devastating, natural or otherwise. Which means that whatever happened was beyond the gods' power to withstand. Traveler, could you keep looking for more clues? Unless I'm mistaking, there should be more stone tablets around here. Just like the ones you have seen already. Maybe they will tell the story of what happened next. That which is recorded on these stone tablets seem different in some places from those in some documents. <sighs> so many legends, so many tellings. Which of these is true? I wonder. Could it be true? What I've heard? I mean, it wasn't that far. Well, it's kind of far, but still. Still seems like it's reachable. That was it, apparently. I don't know, or it's because I got enemies.
Um. Got him. Okay, come on. Blink. I just take you out. was a pain. Okay, there it was. At least I got it. I actually have a teleporting spot nearby this one. Okay, it is down there. I got it, and I'm out of here. Quite a bit to travel now, though. But I kind of want to see this one through to the end. At least before I end up this episode. Let's talk. 
Two more stone tablets. Oh, let me see. And there they fought upon the gold plains. Our black dust. Struck the harvest and thousand rockets splintered. Oh my! It appeared to be saying that a battle once took place on the Gilead Plains. And an enormous battle of that. <sighs> that must have been the battle in which Gilead Assembly fell. But as for the other passage, it seems to have been written by someone who couldn't bring themselves to leave their home, so they stayed here. And what's more? A treasure? Clearly you have a fondness for treasure, but you're not wrong. There is indeed treasure in the Gilly Plains. If this passage is to be taken literally. But then we have concerns for commandments to guide those in generations to come who aspire to find it, followed by teach with wisdom, be bound by virtue, fortify the bones, unite in ambition, congregants of these four shall be known as the Gilly Assembly. How does one decipher that? I wouldn't know where to stop. Let's head back to Winchu Inn. I think we all need some downtime before we try to tackle the riddle of Gunsu's Four Commandments. Nice! Alright, so with that, I think I'm gonna end off this episode, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!